we're now ready to begin the second step of this design. The first thing that I'm going to mention is if you hold your control key down and use your right mouse button, you can zoom in or zoom out of the model. Let's go ahead and zoom in a little bit. And then by holding the control and shift key together and then using your right mouse button, you can pan the model. Now you also have viewing commands down here on the bottom right of the screen if you want to use those. Quickly go to the sketch tab and what we want to do is we want to make sure that you turn on your relationship handles just by clicking on that relationship handle command and then go back to the home tab. What we want to do is go ahead and create a cutout in this design and by doing so we'll just come up and identify the line command. Once you identify the line command, as you drag your cursor down on the model, that front face will highlight. And what we want to do is lock to that face. You'll notice the lock uh, up here. I can click that or I can hit the F3 key. I'm just going to go up and click the lock, which locks us to the face and also adds that uh, lock symbol on the screen, letting us know that we're locked to that face. Then what we want to do is go ahead and bring our cursor up and touch the top edge of the model. Click to begin a line and you'll notice as we get horizontal or vertical it gives us a glyph next to our cursor so make sure you're in a vertical mode and just pull that down about 25 millimeters somewhere close then what you want to do is go ahead and pull it to the left and make sure you're in a horizontal state and pull it over click again to uh, place a second line and then back up to the top make sure that top line is highlighted and go ahead and click then what you can do is just click on the select tool to get out of the command. You'll, you'll notice a couple of things. By turning on the relationship handles, it shows us that we're horizontal and vertical and it adds those relationships to the sketch. The second thing you'll notice is that it created regions. Now we're already used to regions. We used a region to create this model. So the next thing that we want to do before we actually use this region to create our cutout is to come up and grab the smart dimension, click on that, and then just identify that bottom line and pull it down. You'll notice that in my case it's 40.47. You might have a different number. It really doesn't matter. But what we want to do is change this to 35. So key in 35 millimeters. And I like to tab just to kind of preview it. And then go ahead and hit the enter key. Now I'm going to grab the select tool again just by clicking on select and identify the region, the center region. Now you'll notice our grab and go tool pops up again. Again you'll notice the uh, similarity in the ribbon bar. Make sure that symmetric in this case is turned off and then grab the grab and go tool. If you pull out it's going to add geometry. If you push through it's going to remove geometry. So it's real simple. We'll go ahead and click to remove that center geometry. Now you'll notice that the sketch dimension becomes an intelligent 3D PMI dimension in synchronous technology. At this point we're done with step two so go ahead and save the file and then just make sure that your students are caught up to this point before continuing to step three.